Hello everyone, this is Joshua. This is part two on the new as well as latest developments with UMass Athletics as well as UMass Amherst Equal Opportunity. Before I say it, just like I said in part one, I am protected by the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and this, be and this video cannot be used and hold held against me. In the previous video, I know I kept on saying, you know, people shouldn't be playing the I don't feel comfortable card, like it's some kind of game, because it's not. That is not a game. And like I said in the video, it's okay not to like somebody, but it's not okay to embarrass them, humiliate them, and of course, mess with their lives. Because that's just straight up evil, right there. That's just evil. And like I said in the previous video, yes, I know I'm big, tall, strong, African-American with disabilities, but it doesn't mean me creepy or scary. And you know, people shouldn't be using the word creep just because they see a person that's unattractive. Because apparently that's how colleges are nowadays. Well, I'm not saying all college students like that. And like I said, you know, really, Equal Opportunity said, all of which are female athletes and cheerleaders. Really, that needs to stop. Like I said in the last video, do you want the nation to think, or should I say the world to think, that's the nature of UMass Amherst, female athletes and cheerleaders, hating and fear what they don't understand? Of course, they're going to try to cover it up because, you know, that's how all Division One athletic departments are because they're all about making money and stuff. And they'll do whatever it takes to protect the reputation because, of course, money or reputation is at stake. But yeah, honestly, like I said in the last video, that's all I gotta stop. So let's talk about more about on part two. Yeah, really. I don't like how, you know, these athletic departments always doing whatever it takes to cover up. Because I understand they wanted to protect their reputation and stuff. But it doesn't mean be corrupt about it. You know, cover up the fact if they are in the wrong. Really. When you're doing an investigation, something like that, and if they clear, and if they clear the wrongdoing, tell them that. Because that's another thing I'm real concerned about. When colleges, as well as schools, do an investigation on school employees and they find that they were clear of wrongdoing and they found they're not in the wrong they don't want to apologize for it they don't want to take responsibility they don't want to like offer them any settlement or back pay or even an apology because that's another thing i've noticed that's what i've been that's another thing i've been noticing i'm sure others have noticed that as well no written apologies, stuff like that. Let me tell you something about what Equal Opportunity really found. They found that nothing really came of it when they reported concerns about my interactions with student athletics, excuse me, student athletes, as well as UMass athletics staff, and as well as coaches. Really, that found that nothing really came of it. I know for a fact she found that nothing came of it. And here's what she did. Instead of offering an apology, she sent some kind of letter just to stop me from seeking damages, saying that, oh, equal opportunity and diversity, as well as UMass Athletics, appreciates and respects your loyalty to the program. La 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 la. But really, you think I you think I can't see through that letter? Guess what? I can see through that letter. You wrote all that because you don't want me to seek damages because you see that you know and see that you were recently targeting someone with disabilities. And you know when I was found found clear of wrongdoing, 
You knew I could seek damages, so you really wrote that letter. Because you don't want a lawsuit on your hands. Yeah, because the fact I am borderline autistic, severe, doesn't matter about the severity, I can still sue. But instead, you wrote a letter. Because you don't want a lawsuit. That's right, you wrote that letter, equal opportunity, because you don't want me to sue the school and state. That's why. I can see through that letter. I'm sure others can see through that as well. But really, but I'm going to cut this short for now. This is part two. Stay tuned for part three. So please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.